I'm here at LMS Bologna with two pro Magic players. I'm going to give each of them 100 euro to buy cards only from the vendors here. And they each have 20 minutes. Go, go, go! You have to... <laughs> now, I can't follow both of them, but I have the caster for LMS Bologna here, Filippa Carola, and you'll be following Taral. Let's go. We have 20 minutes. The good part is I already did this, so I have some strategy lined up. Okay, ma. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, these cards are so expensive. So what is our plan? We need to have a plan. We need to have a strategy. Excuse me. Uh, do you have some like pauper staples or some some cheap cards for like free for Yeah, can we? Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are a lot of cards. Soul rings is gonna be the thing. They're cheap, they're efficient, they're good for any deck. Do we, do we have soul ring anywhere else? Or there Maybe. Okay, those are like yeah, I love pauper staples and yeah. commons. Ooh, very good. No, this is the good stuff. Soul ring, soul ring. Take your time, but I forgot you have 20 minutes. T 20 minutes, okay, yeah. Are there soul rings? Soul ring, soul ring, soul ring, soul ring, soul ring. Soul ring. Oh my god, there's no soul ring. Where's the soul ring? Aha, okay. This is not a hidden strategy. We're gonna take four soul rings. <laughs> oh, as they call it here, Anello Solare. The, this format is not 100 euros by a deck, it's 96 euros and four soul rings. So, the so, yeah, the soul rings are the number one thing I need to get, but they, they are probably not here. Excuse me? Do you have soul rings? No, oh, they are all sold out. Soul rings are sold yes, out. It's the first card that we sold. So if you look, yeah, those are those are really expensive. We have only a hundred euro. Mm, damnation for thirty-two. Oh. Uh, no soul ring, so I probably need to go to another vendor then. Balustrade. Could we build an all stealth deck? We have Narcamiba. We have Simeon Spirit Guide. I saw the Spirit Guide. Excuse me. Do you have soul rings? Che maybe cheap. I have like expensive ones. Only expensive ones. Yeah. Okay. Kai was already here. Okay, Sorry? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm looking for a dread return. Do you have return? I think it's sold out. No, it doesn't look like it's a dread return. That's the challenge of 100 euros at a vendor. You don't get everything. Do you have like uh, the initiative stuff, like White Plume Adventurer, Seasoned Engineer, or something? No soul rings? What do I do? It was the first step. I need to get four soul rings. Oh, they're four euro. Actually, the. A four euro is. Yeah, that, that, I, I think I should get them, yeah. I will for sure take the four, the four euro soul rings. Uh, hopefully, that is the playset. Uh, this one. Please, please let it be four. <laughs> How many do you have of them? I only need four. So yeah, this should be four. Okay. Ooh, Baral. Oh, we could also build a storm deck. 20, 20 minutes is not a lot of time. Time is running, Storm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Focus. Focus. Okay, these cards are expensive. Um, let's be honest, building a storm deck might be problematic <laughs> in 20 minutes. What's the plan? Uh, the plan is probably I want to play a, a mono white deck, like initiative. Initiatives are so good and they're so cheap. Ooh. Holding mine, very good. We could build a Turbo Fuck deck. Uh, do you have the initiative cards, like some White Plume Adventurer, Seasoned Dungeoneer, or something? No. 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 No crisis. No crisis. It's okay. It's okay. There's still time left. For Ralph, we need to put you uh, chef hat because you're cooking here. Yeah. So the problem is. Building a deck when you have an idea in mind is very easy because then you can follow. But if you have so many options, what are you gonna build? Fox, very good. I love it. Goes into my fog pile. So this is like the maybe pile. Yes, yeah, so this is the turbo fog pile. This is the we started a storm deck pile if we see it. Kaba Ritual 10. Ooh, 10 euros. That's kind of tough. Like if you have four Kaba Ritual, you already have 40 euros. That's I have like uh, like a plan B. If the mono white initiative deck is not working, I will go to Splinter Twin. Splinter Twin is a good card you know, and a good combo. Ooh, we can build Splinter Twin. <gasps> Wait a minute, Splinter Twin. Here's what I'm thinking. If he finds out Splinter Twin and Pestamite, I mean Kai is not stupid, right? He knows magic, so maybe if he gets here and builds that, we should be prepared. Okay, back to the other vendor. Let's check if we. Ooh. Oh no! I lost money! Okay, okay. Do you have like uh, the Splinter Twin combo? Like this, the Splinter Twin combo? Deceiver XR, Kiki Jiki, Splinter Twin. Ah, uh, no. Constant Mist. Seven euros. Oh, you can't play many of those. If you have any anything that is a fog effect. I have fog, I think. The actual fog. The actual fog. <laughs> I see has a box. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me, let me, let me, let me check. Okay, okay, good cards, good cards. Yeah. Excuse me? Just browsing through ideas, you know? Okay, this is, this is your box? You already bought this? Uh, yeah, this is all, I'm sorry, all of those are taken. So one thing. <laughs> are we in war or are we in peace? 
well, it depends on what you're doing. Yeah. The Splinter Twins are already nice. bought out. Splinter Twins are... <laughs> you bought Splinter Twin, really? <laughs> Come on. Oh no, Toraf is just doing, beating me with my ideas. Yeah. We, have, we have Splinter Twin and we have Kiki Jiki. That's yeah. a story. I need Deceiver Exarch. I need Deceiver Exarch. Do you have Deceiver Exarch? Yep, Toraf took out the cards, so... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, now you know what I'm probably... Maybe maybe it's just some... Okay, okay, okay. They're on the three blue drops. Okay. Oh, you, oh, got perfect. Both. you got both. Oh, perfect, perfect, okay. But I feel like you might be playing a mirror here. Uh, this could be. Uh, how much is the Kiki Jiki? Oh, Kiki is six. Kiki is six, and how much is Splinter Twin? So this would be six, and uh, this would be then 26. I think I will take those. Yeah. The four of those, the Kiki Jiki, four of those each. So we're back to Turbo Fog. Why is nobody having moments pieces? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for my moments pieces. So to say. Moments piece is the best card you can have because it's a fog and then a fog flashback means it's basically two time walks. It's not here. Do you have moments pieces? Do you know? Uh, who buys moments piece? <laughs> if he's if he's on the Splinter Twin plan, we don't know that for sure right now. If you look at this, it looks like he was building a turbo fog deck. Turbo fog. I mean, this is we're, bad. We're investigating. We're investigating. We're investigating. Okay. Do you have the card counter spell? I will come back. I should. We have to figure out the other side. No, no, no. It's, it's Are you yours. stealing all my cards? No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> stealing. We, I am at peace with you. So it's worth. Weren't there more cards here? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. oh, what's Tarif doing? What is Tarif doing? Oh, Still searching to. What's on? Seriously? Oh my god, this. I don't know what he's doing. It's That's why he, he built so Nakumira. many miles. Oh my god. No. He, I, he strategically put the Tron lands out. I did the Yu Gi Oh strategy. I don't know what I'm doing, so people don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's, that's, a great, that's a great strategy. So basically, we need to find out how we win. We can get as fast as Oracle. Is that actually here? That's probably even worth something, right? This. Could faces looting work? I mean, I see a lot of cards. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Brainstorm is legal and it's really good with Lorian Reveal. That's true. Okay, Treasure Cruise is also pretty good, but then I should have probably it should play a Fatal's Looting, I guess. Do you have Thassa's Oracle? How much? 15. 15? 15. Okay, ooh. You have 15. You're left, you can get a stack 17. 17. Snapcaster what Mage? Deal? What? That's, a, that's a really good deal for Snapcaster Mage. Schnellzauberer, as we say. Schnellzauberer? Schnellzauberer. We're doing the fog deck. I think we're good. Okay, we get two crucibles. We get four cards in this. That's 54. And we're obviously playing this because that's good. This is looking really good, Toro. Right? I have about like 12 here left. You're also running out of time, may I remind you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow, they have a Surin up. I already have a crucible, so that means I only need a fast for the infinite combo. I can sacrifice my lands for two life. Now Fast Bond lets me play as many lands as I want for one damage each, meaning I have infinite life and infinite mana. We only have 12 euros left and we really need to find a Steamens to get those Lorien Reveals rolling. So let's find a bargain. 16? Maybe we can, maybe 16? Maybe we can talk. Get a two euro discount? Thank you so much. Okay, the deck is complete. Oh, and now the Thunder Junction is out. They have those desert lands that deal one damage when they come to play. How do I find a bad common? The vendors certainly don't have them, right? We're going to look for one desert in the draft tables. I have a question. Yeah. I don't want to. I need a desert. The blue green desert deals one damage. Yeah, we have one. <laughs> that is so sick. And it's free. And it's free. Go. Let's go. I will mulligan. I keep. Put this down. Okay. And then start with a Darkmoor Salvage tapped. I draw for the turn. First thing first, I have to see what you're up to. Gitexian Pro for two life. Okay, you have Zurin Orb, Jace Bellerin, Fog, and okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, look, I only had a hundred euros. Thank you so much. <laughs> I will draw a card from Gitexian Pro. Yes. Hmm. And oh. then I will play Mountain tap it and play Faces Looting, which allows me to draw two cards and discard two cards. Mm -hmm. Then I will discard Faces Looting and Splinter Twin. Uh -huh. Okay, the jig is up, now I understand. And then I pass the turn. I will play a Vision. Sure. But it's not a spell, it's oh. a land! Psych. Draw. Ooh, that's a good one. I will play Island Pass. So I will play a forest. Okay. And I'll play a holy mine. So this one, let's okay. both draw twice Wait. the amount of cards. An extra card each turn. Drawing cards is fun. Magic, I love cards. drawing cards. Yeah, go. Okay. Draw. 
for the holding one? Yes. And draw for turn? Yes. So I will play my land for turn. It comes into play untapped because I control mountain and island. Yes. And then I would pass the turn. Untapped, draw one. Yeah. And a bonus card. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I really want to know what you've just drawn? Uh, I will use my black to cast a soaring. Uh, that's a good card. Yes. Okay, I understand that. Uh, I will tap my soaring to cast a soaring. Uh, that's quite a good card as well. Right. Uh, those were, in fact, the two draws. Go ahead. End of your turn, I would like to play Pester Mine. Yes. It's uh, flash flying and it would tap one permanent. I would like to tap your soaring. Soaring is tapped. Okay, then I go to my turn? Yes, please. Okay, draw. And draw an extra card. Draw an extra one. Okay, the deck you, is named you, after this. You so gotta do I, what you gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do. I try to cast Splinter Quinn, targeting my Pester Might. That resolves? That resolves. So this one gives the Pester Might the ability to tap and make a copy of this card. Then I would try to activate this ability, make a token of this one. So then I make a copy of this. This has the Enter the Battlefield effect of untapping target permanent, mm -hmm. which I will use to untap this one. Okay. So. I, I see a, a synergy. There's a synergy because I can make infinite of those ones now with, with haste. Okay. Is it okay for you? I just repeat this process like 100,000 times. Okay. You okay. sure? Yeah. Is that enough? Uh, I'm not sure you can make infinite life, I think. So this is pro and now I have 100,000 copies of uh, Pestle Might. That they die have at the end of turn. That die at the end of turn, but okay. they have has right now. Yes. And I would like to declare a tax. You may. Okay, I will declare a tax with 100,000 Pestle Might. So that would deal me 100,000 times two damage. Yeah, it would be, I think it would be lethal, but in I'm the, not sure. In the best interest of me not losing the game, I have to say I will have to cast the fog. Fog! Which prevents all damage, including a hundred thousand times two. But... but does no, it happen? No, yeah, it, it, it does happen, sadly. Okay, I mean, then I would pass the they turn die. and they die. Okay. I draw two? Sure. Almost there! So okay. I would start with three mana and cast a fall from Fravor. I don't know what this does. So when it ends the battlefield, we tap this and I become the monarch. Okay, yeah. We have a, we have a tradition. Oh, yeah. you, you pretty much look like a monarch now. I know, right? So now, this one doesn't end up anymore. As long as I'm the monarch, at the end, I draw a card. Then for one green, we'll cast a fast bond. Yeah. Now, fast bond is a very strong card. It is, indeed. Now, now I may play any amount of lands. Not only one, any amount. Okay, okay. But for each one besides the first, I'll pay your life. Yeah. I'll play a semi growth changer, which oh. in a certain field, I return a land. At the end of the turn, I'm going to draw a card because I'm sure. the monarch. you're the monarch. I untap. This does not untap. This does not untap. But I draw a card from Holding Mine. Yes. And then I draw another card from my turn. Yes. It nearly worked out once, so I think I have to try it once again. I play my land for turn, mm -hmm. play Mountain, and then we'll cast another Pestermite. ETBs, just untap this Pestermite. This mm. should work, right? It does work. It so untaps. It untaps. So I would now be able to do the same combo again, right? Yes. So I will do this. I will make a copy of this Pestermite. And then this one enters the battlefield, it will untap, and then yeah. I will do it uh, like one million times now. Let's see if you have the Ultra Fog now. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, and now I have a million copies of Pestermite. Yes. And I would like to declare a text. Yes. And I would declare a text with one million copies of Pestermite. Yes, so. that works. Okay, next game. You got me once. Yeah, hopefully it will work out another time. I will mulligan. Are you keeping? I hey, you gotta risk it to get to the biscuit. Ah, much better. Okay. Okay. We'll get this down. Okay. We play a forest and say go. Draw for turn. Yeah. Uh, get text and probe. Go to 18. Okay. Oh, Mr. Katichin. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I draw a card. What? Get text and probe. Go to 16. <laughs> oh, the same hand? Okay. Another hand would be cool. <laughs> it's like mono red. Nope. Draw a card. Play the land. <clears throat> of course, had it all the time. Pass. Draw. I will play a Growth Chamber tap. Yeah. Return forest. End of your turn. I will play a Thought Scour. Okay. Target myself. Yes. Little cards. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah. Then I go to my turn. Mm -hmm. Draw. Now I will play Mountain and I will play Faces Looting. Draw two cards. Discard two cards. Yes. Discard Splinter Twin and. Land. I will play Treasure Cruise for mm, one. Exiling good. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, leaving faces looting in my graveyard. Draw three. One, two, three. And I discard Splinter. Go ahead. I'll play a seven scoring. So we look for any land 
get a dark more savage. Sure. It comes with play tab. Yeah. And it's a shame. You don't need all this fancy draw no, three no, discard. No, 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 sure. Draw for turn. Yeah. Play my land. And I will pass the turn. I have nothing. Sad. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. In your upkeep. Oh, yeah. I would like to play Pestermite. Mm -hmm. Does it resolve? It does resolve. I would like to tap your Grim Simic Growth Chamber. I will cast a vision. So I look at one, two, three, four, five, six. six. And then I reveal an instant of sorcery and put it into my hand. It looks a bit awkward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hey, get a vision. You, you gotta chain the Looney Visions, sure. So they go on the bottom. Yeah. This resolves. Yep. Then I draw a card. Sure. Play forest and say go. Oh no! You're representing Fock. Don't worry about it. I draw for my turn? Yes. Well, I guess make them have it. And I will try to cast Splinter Twin targeting my Pestermite. Yeah. Okay, this resolves. It now does. Now I will do the same combo as usual. Just make uh, about 10 gazillion Pestermites. Yeah. And I would like to do, go to attacks with yeah. 10 gazillion. Oh man, this is the most efficient fog ever. And then uh, I will probably pass the turn for now. We'll cast the vision. Sure. Looking Look at the, the top fog. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got the fog? No. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, you have it. We'll get in Una's Grace. Okay, Una's Grace. Ooh, we're drawing all the cards. This goes to Graveyard. Yep. And we're going to play a Simic Grove Tap. Yeah. And it's your turn. I will draw for turn. Let's see it. I will play Deceiver Exarch. Yes. Targeting your forest. Okay. <laughs> so it's tapped and you, you get you have green mana in your pool? No. No, okay. I don't need it. Okay. Then I would do the same as before, just tapping Pestermite to make a copy of Pestermite. And then I don't know what oh, oh you look so sad. Oh maybe I should only make uh seven copies to not kill you? I mean no, no, I have to make one million, I'm sorry. Yes. I have and to make one attack. and then I would attack. Okay, GG's. Mm -hmm. 